you know, those three, Ali, Connie, and, and Christina, will always be linked together, I think. You know, they're the ones that raised this program to championship level and NCAA tournament level. I, I really, really thought that class that, that they were involved in was really going to take us to the level, and, and they did. And that's what I love about them is, is they, they made that prophecy come true. The Vandal men get a road split in an ever-tightening race for the top four in the Big Sky Conference, while the Idaho women close out the home season by sweeping aside two Big Sky foes. Among them, a 47-point drubbing of high-flying Sacramento State to send the seniors out in style. Up this week, a grudge match with bitter rival Eastern Washington. Inside the Vandals, next. Hey, welcome into another edition of Inside the Vandals. I'm your host, Tom Purvis. So glad you could be with us. And we're joined now by Idaho men's basketball coach, Don Verlin. Coach, thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Well, you guys go on the road. You win one, you lose one. Obviously, with road wins, you take whatever you can get. But what was your overall feel from this road trip? Well, obviously, uh, losing the one on Saturday night was tough. Uh, no question about it. But like you said, it's always good to get a split. Uh, we played very well, especially in the second half at Portland State. Didn't play quite as well in the second half at Sacramento State. But uh, it was good to get a split. And then we got... Um, you know, it's all right in front of us now. It's with three home games left with uh, Eastern, uh, Weber, and Idaho State. They're all above us in the standings and a, a great chance to, to move ourselves up into that top four spot. Portland State, you get the win against them. You get Vic Sanders back. How nice was it to get him back? It was good. It was good to see all of our guys out there. You know, the only guy that's hurt right now that's not able to play is Ty Egbert, but uh, it was good to have Vic out there. Uh, you know, we, have no, we had a number of guys play well at Portland State. Um, you know, Chad Sherwood, Nate Sherwood both played very well back in their home state. Uh, Perrion had a nice game, and, and so it was good to kind of get the whole team back. Do those guys, the Sherwood brothers, do they get a little extra, you know, motivation to go back and play in Oregon? You always get extra motivation when you go home. Uh, you know, uh, our Cody McCurchin kind of calls Portland home as well as Vic Sanders. So uh, they're always very excited to play in front of their home crowd. And we had a great following of Vandals uh, at Portland State on, Saturday, or on Thursday night. How much does that of a boost does that give you when you can even see that, you know, there's a Vandal contingent there for the game? Oh, it always gives you a boost, no question about it. Uh, we probably had 100, 150 people there, and, and uh, I know our guys Guys were excited to play in front of their home home fans. You said after the game that you kind of challenged your team, especially for that second half. Your team obviously responded with a great second half, but what was the challenge about? Well, we just weren't defending it well enough. Uh, we, were, we were giving them way too many easy baskets, and I thought there about the last 18 minutes of the second half, uh, we really locked it down and, and really made it hard for them to score. Didn't give them any second chance opportunities and, and found a way to win against a good Portland State team who upset Eastern on Saturday night. Yeah, that's big. Now, Perrion Callender at 19 points, led the team in scoring. What did you like about his game? Well, he, he's getting better by the game. Um, you know, uh, Perrion's just a good player. We've, we've, we've had that conversation before, and, and I thought he did a good job distributing the ball. He did a nice job knocking down his shots, and, and he's a very good free throw shooter. You mentioned that you guys didn't give up any second chance points. On the other hand, you guys pulled down 20 offensive rebounds. How big of a factor did that play? That was huge uh, because uh, that, that's one of our strengths, and, and I thought we did a great job of that, getting to the offensive glass, getting us a bunch of extra possessions, and Sean George was very effective in that game with six offensive rebounds. Nate Sherwood was really active. I thought we did a good job of, of crashing the offensive glass, and that allowed us to get a lot of extra shots in that game. And then no second chance points for them. Was that big and just holding on to that lead to the end? Because they obviously tried to come back, but you guys didn't let them back in. Yeah, when you hold the team to one shot, uh, that's huge. And, and, you know, usually a second shot in the game of basketball is a good one. And whether it's a, a layup or they kick it out for a three, those are always really good shots. And so uh, I thought us holding them to one shot, playing good, solid defense was the key to that win on Thursday. How about Sacramento State? What happened to that one to you? Well, we played very well there the first half. We were, we were up eight, uh, had, had played some good basketball, come out the second half, and they were the most aggressive team. Uh, they did a good job of controlling the tempo in the second half, made some tough shots, uh, and we just didn't execute the way we needed to down the stretch, especially the last 10 minutes of the game. We made some, some errors defensively. Uh, we missed some, missed some shots that we normally make, and, and the game turned on us, and it was anybody's game going down the stretch, and they pulled it out. What most impressed you in that first half, especially, and you guys got up to an 11-point lead in the second half, it seemed like Sac State seemed lost against that 2-3 zone you guys were playing. Yeah, our, our defense was good there for about 30 minutes, uh, and, and then it slipped a little bit. You know, they shot 55 
25 percent in the second half and that's not us and and uh but i thought we did a lot of really good things in the first half that we were really active we were moving real well and then we didn't quite do that in the second half and anytime you give a team like sacramento state a little bit of momentum especially at home um you know it, it can make it tough to, to stop the train from going and, and we could never get the train stopped there as in the last 10 minutes of the game they scored about every possession nate sherwood he, he's been playing well but he was in foul trouble in that game did that kind of impact just kind of he had had the hot hand played well against portland state yeah it always affects you when a you know an inside guy gets in gets in foul trouble and yeah nate was in foul trouble most of the night uh but that's the way it goes we gotta we gotta be able to overcome that and, and find a way to win in a situation like that. You guys were able to get to the free throw line 25 of 32, so you scored 25 points at the line. Was that a positive for you guys? No question. Uh, you know, we, we definitely free throwed them there in the second half, especially. I, I thought our guys did a good job getting the ball inside. I thought we did a good job attacking the basket, and we made our free throws, which we didn't on Thursday, which we were probably fortunate to win that game with the way we shot it from the free throw line. But I've got a really good free throw shooting team, and we knocked them down there uh, at Portland State, which, I mean, at Sacramento State, which gave us a chance to win. It was the first game with with Vic and Perry and both back in the starting lineup and you're still kind of a is there something to be said about kind of adjusting to just getting the team adjusted to having them back no no question because you know some guys are used to playing a lot more minutes had been playing a lot a lot more minutes in the last seven eight nine games and 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 now you got those guys back and they're they're they they demand a lot of minutes and and so we're working through a little bit right here just just with some guys coming back it's a good thing to work through that's that's for sure but um, we just got to smooth it out a little bit He's Vandals head coach Don Berlin right there. We're going to take a break here and Inside the Vandals, but when we're back, we discuss the upcoming home game against Eastern Washington. It's going to be a big one. We'll discuss it next on Inside the Vandals. 